Hey everybody, what's up? Tony here as part of the Football Manager Therapy Podcast. If you've been listening, I hope you're enjoying it. Thank you so much for doing so. If you haven't listened and you want to get involved, look at the description below. I've got all the links to how you can access the podcast. We're on uh, Acast, we're on Apple Music, we're on Spotify. Uh, Give us a subscribe and uh, and get involved there. Uh, As part of the podcast, myself and Matt have got a Scandinavian Triple Crown Challenge where we aim to win a title in Norway, Sweden and Denmark within a 10-year period. Matt has chosen Buda Glimt in Norway to start with. I have chosen to go in Sweden and Ostersunds. Uh, episode 1 was very much me setting up my stall, letting you see what the team looks like, giving you a bit of background about the club, and I was very much looking forward to doing it. Now, episode 2, you may be a slight gear shift because it's not going very well, to be honest. A bit of a spoiler alert. It's not particularly brilliant, um, but we've got a lot of work to do. There's a lot of season left ahead of us, so hopefully we can turn it around. Uh, if you enjoy the videos, please do give them a like. Uh, subscribe to this channel as well, please. I'd really, really uh, much appreciate it. I've got a Kaiser Slouten save as well on the go if you want to have a watch of that. Uh, any comments, do leave them below. I do reply to every single comment, including feedback as well, uh, hopefully constructive. Uh, but basically, I don't ramble on too much because we need to get involved. We need to go and see the video. So here is episode number two, and we are with Oster Sons. And here we are, guys. As we've said at the start, we thought things were going badly. They're actually going pretty shocking, to be honest. Six games we've played so far in the Swedish Premier League. We have amassed one single solitary point. Um, It is going really bad. Um, And I don't know why, to be honest. Like, the cup games look like we were going to do okay, but... The league games, I mean, look at that. Six games, we've drawn one, we've lost uh, five others. But the problem is, is we're not getting blown away. Like, we're playing all right, but we've just got terrible luck. And I don't know whether that's an early season issue, like the players aren't fit enough. Maybe the tactic that I'm using, which is kind of a bit different, um, isn't really working for the players. Um, We'll go through each of the games to sort of give you a bit of a rundown as to how we've been looking and see if you can spot anything that I can't see, really. Um, It might just be a lack of quality, but opening game of the season, we uh, we faced a Rebro, uh, and I thought, great, there's snow. Like, it made me feel so happy to be playing in Sweden. There's some snow everywhere. Uh, We were creating chances, as you can see. Like, should have really buried that one right under the bar. Um, It was almost more difficult to miss, to be honest. Uh, riding our luck a little bit uh, here, which great save, and then obviously the follow-up doesn't get turned in. Um, and I was thinking, okay, fine, you know, we can just play for a draw uh, as, the, as the game's ticking on. Ten minutes to go, that should be fine. But we got a long ball across here, and then we had a great chance to, to take the lead, hit the post, and it was cleared, and I thought, it's not going to be our day. Um, but then this happens, great delivery in. Uh, defender gets his head up and heads it in, and I thought, fantastic! We've we've won. We've, we've at least uh, given ourselves a chance here. Five minutes to go, uh, but sadly, sixty seconds later, we decided to hit the self-destruct button and gave away a penalty. Um, and it's just like, oh come on! Like we can't be doing that uh, so early. Uh, of course, he converts the penalty, so that pulls us, us level. And and at that point, you you need to learn about your team, and you go right. Just see the game out. We're at home. Uh, we have a free kick. In hindsight, we probably should have just held on to the ball rather than taking a shot because I'm sure you're already working out what's happening. You've got 20 seconds of normal time left. The clearance has gone down the wing. It's been picked back up uh, by the uh, the visiting op- uh, opposition. They start pulling it forward and you go, that's fine. There's no pressure. There's no pressure at all. Just, you know, hold your shape. Don't head the ball back to their players and certainly don't let them do that for example. Um, I mean, granted you can't really defend against it. It's a great piece of skill. He takes the ball down and he pings it in. Fine. Hopefully that's just going to be a one-off. We face Malmo next. Malmo uh, are probably the team who are going to expect it to probably win the league, I think. Uh, and they, I know we said we, we haven't really sort of been schooled, but they were a cut above us. I mean, look at that. No, like Defenders are just nowhere to be seen. Um, so that's a worry we've obviously got to work on that um, I was thinking more our strikers were going to be the issue but again it was it was probably more defensive errors that were that were costing us great ball back in and again it just it goes past everybody and there's player at the back post uh, and he just slams it straight in the net so so that's 2-0 and you're alright fine 
we'll take that game. Then of course comes Gif Sunsvall. Now we've already lost to them in the in the uh, in the cup, so we've got previous with them. So we want to kind of try and and sort of put the record straight. And we think right, fine, a little bit of snow again. Obviously, um, that might play to our advantage possibly. Uh, we don't know, so we get down the down the wing here, and we think, right, ping it in, great cross, comes back off the bar, and then it's cleared, and we're like, oh, right, fine, that was a chance gone begging. Um, out it goes again, trying to play a bit more long ball. I don't particularly want to play long ball, but it probably suits us. Although I'll be honest, up front we don't seem to have anyone who just put their foot on the ball or hold the ball up or bring others into play. Um, so that's sort of where I'm, I'm really struggling. Again, another chance goes begging, header onto the, onto the crossbar again, and then it's just, oh, like this was early in the game, and then of course they then have that shot there, um, which just whistles past the post, and you're sort of thinking, right, we need to, to try and sort of change stuff up a bit, because um, these are the sorts of games where you hope and you can get something out of it. Uh, ball's cut back, and again, not tight enough, not tight enough, it's a free header for him, um, and it's just schoolboy stuff, really, which is really quite dis- quite sort of um, disheartening, I suppose. Uh, there you go. So we go a little bit down the wing, cut back inside. Uh, Kolka, by the way, has, has really been a, a great player. He's done he's done some wonderful things um, so far this season. So I'm very much looking forward to seeing how he develops. And I mean that that's a lovely goal. That's a brilliant goal, isn't it? You look at that and you go, okay, there's something here with this team. Like it's not all doom and gloom, but you then go to the next match. And Sirius, again, another team who are going to be kind of in and around where we are at the bottom, and you're just letting in daft goals like that. And I'm just going, we're not even going back to the drawing board. Like, we're going back to the shop to buy coloured pens, to buy pieces of paper, and going, this is how we draw, right? And just, like... Awful. Joe Gardens, again, I don't know they're going to be ahead of us in the league, but at least make some sort of effort to try and not make it look like... I was about to suggest to not make it look like we're trying to throw the game because it's kind of how it looks a little bit um, in some instances. I know it's not, but you just think, come on, like a little bit more sharpness there. Um, and I get it, I get it. We've not got a lot of money. In fact, we've got no money. Uh, we're kind of overspending on wages um, from when I came in. I've not bought anybody yet, by the way, so that's just a standard thing as, as how the club was set up where, where I came in. Um, look, see, again, just he's got he's, he's got his own postcode of area, like unmarked at the back post, which you're going to get punished in any division. But, you know, we need to really be sort of looking at this and, and sort of drilling down on it and getting tighter marking Again, just like allowing pressure onto us. Um, and it just it just kept coming. It just kept coming, you know. Kalmar here. Again, come to our place. And it's a single goal that does it. Again, another single goal. You just want him to hold the ball up. Uh, and this is Sellers, who again has not really had a particularly brilliant time. But what a run that is. And then someone running straight onto it, Baptiste. And you think, oh, that would be a great goal. But just, again... Doesn't quite happen. Um, maybe it's luck. Maybe it's ability. Maybe it's confidence. Maybe it's all of them. I don't know. Um, but that is just concentration. That's just poor is what it is. Everything else is like ability or tactics. Like We can work on that. But the very basic fundamentals of that's a guy in the same colour shirt of the opposition. I should probably get near him. That's the stuff we really need to drill in. We really need to drill that into the players at the minute. And it's just not happening. I know I'm trying a formation that is probably slightly alien to these guys. And to be fair to me, it's even slightly alien to me as well. I am trying something that I I think is going to work in the long run. But I just need the board to trust me. Because if it doesn't work, it's not going to work badly. Um... And uh, so we're going to have a proper game here now. So we're playing Hacken. Um, as you can see, this is the formation I've got. So I've actually gone from three at the back. I've been playing three at the back. We're now at four at the back. It's sort of a four-five-one in a sense, um, or four-four-one-one. However, you sort of look at it. Um, just we just need to keep it tight, really, and that's ultimately where we're at. Um, 
as I say, striker wise, we, we've got a, we've got a lad up front who just can't really hold the ball up. He can't really run the channels. We're asking a lot of him if you think about it. Um, and I know he's he's a British lad, Sellers, and he's probably more of a midfielder, but uh, like a midfield, like attacking midfielder, so like a, a number ten maybe. Um, but you know, it would be good if we can get him in there to to maybe sort of have a bit more responsibility. But uh, we've got a young lad who's who's a striker who's sort of on the bench. Um, we may have to just try him. Like I'm just gonna have to just try things and see what's what. Good ball in, and oh for God's sake! It's just giving away a penalty. He's not even. He's not even under pressure. Oh, it's happening again, isn't it? Twenty five minutes in, and we're already a goal down. Una Toivio. Oh. Under the goalkeeper, it's literally gone under the keeper. Um, right, here we go. It's time to shout, show some passion, show your passion, boys. Come on, there's a blooming podcast riding on this. Um, not that you would know about it, of course. Um, but hopefully, I, from what I can gather as well, Matt's doing very, very well, so there's extra pressure on me to do well. Um, but Oh, they're just cutting us open. It's like I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. The players are in a better formation than they were, and they're still all over the place. Like I've got, oh, at least that's straight at the keeper. Um, half time, half time. Just no shots, none on target. Fourteen fouls though, so. At least we're getting involved, I suppose. <laughs> um, new tactic, lads. If you can't play the ball, play the man. Just Actually, just play the man because you're struggling with the ball. Um, maybe I'll just turn us into some sort of um, aggressive side that wins because all we do is, is we uh, debilitate the opposition. Um, oh, God. It's just... Is he just stood on the on the post watching that go past him? He has, hasn't he? Yeah. Oh, it looks a bit like the ball that does. Oh, yeah, I should really have done something there. 2-0. Oh, no, no, goalkeeper can save something. Fantastic. He's worked out he has hands. That's a brilliant start. 70-odd uh, minutes in. And he's now worked out that he's the lad who's allowed to use his hands. Um, this is not like... 35% possession 21 fouls one shot I'm start. I, I, thing is right like I don't want to say I'm regretting taking Ostersunds because I believe in the long term that there, that there is something I can do here right I believe that but I think it's now going to be the very long term it's going to we're going to need to do a lot of stuff and we're going to need some trust from the board, I think. And we're really going to need some buy-in from the players. Baptiste, go on, Baptiste. Oh, just... I mean, at least it's a shot, I suppose. Um, because this is what's worrying. Like, if we're at home and we've only had two shots and we've been overran, granted by a team who are now fourth in the division in the league, in the live tables, we still can't really expect that fans will keep turning up to watch this because this is poor like I know our first five or six games we'd, we'd had a bit of bad luck but this is just this has not been we've not been at the races today this is a, a, a bad performance um, and there's no way of dressing it up I don't think to be honest uh, you can't really hide from it we have been second best on everything possibly even third best we've been third best in a two team match um, oh just like hacking and just like firing it from anywhere now and like causing trouble. Um, just just run it, just run it out, run it out of play for all I care. Like, go on, a free kick. That right here we go. This could be us. This is our chance. <laughs> this is our chance. Just get the ball in the box and hope for the best. Balls in, good ball, header. Oh, never mind, never mind. It's over. I mean, it was over at half time, really, wasn't it? Like, 
even at 1-0 it was over um, just got to hope for something better against Helsingborgs now they came up with us so they're also going to be expected to, to struggle along um, just need to see what's what I mean we can't keep we can't keep dropping points because I know that says two there but we are only on one point and that's six points so we're off you know we're five points clear of safety already and that's only going to get further if results go against go against us um, and the the more points we start to slip the more pressure these guys are under and nobody is giving me any indication that they can cope with pressure um, or that they're up for the fight which again is worrying um, because already oh right if it's fine it's cleared like already um, eight games in already I think we're, we're in a, a dog fight now um, and this is going to be us all season I think good ball nice tackle that'll do I mean that, that says everything though when you're attacking midfielder is the guy making the tackle on the edge of your own box like there's something not right with these guys to be honest they're not in the right positions their link ups are, are, are poor um, it's it's my fault obviously I, I get it's my fault I've obviously set the team up badly but I think I need some help so if anyone's got some suggestions on what we could do with these guys hit them in the comments below because we need some we need something I mean I've, oh god <laughs> oh god we've ridden our look there a little bit that's just come back off the bar um, that's not ideal at all um, so let's hopefully get something here good ball in cleared away um, that's fine just get the second on oh, what get behind just throw your body in front of it man cleared that'll do It's going to be a long season, isn't it? These are teams that are down with us as well, and we're making them look like world beaters. Great ball. Go on, Sellers. Buy a bit of Oh, he's done him. Great ball. Yes! Get in. Get in. Sesawan Cambo. You can't say that after a couple of uh, after a couple of Swedish ales, can you? What a goal that is, son. Um, excellent. Great work from Sellers, by the way. I, 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 rides the tackle well here. Um and then just tease it up nicely and Swesson Cambo is coming in uh, delayed and just making that run he, the defender's not seen him uh, and he gets his head on it What? and that, that's brilliant that's fantastic doesn't lift us out of the relegation zone but is absolutely a sign of positivity which we've had very little of those this season so naturally I'm quite happy here Cole kick free kick straight into the wall okay that's fine recycle it give it back Try and get the ball back again. Um, half time. We'll take it. We'll take that. Three shots to two. We're clearly not very interested in in attacking. I don't think, um, which is fine. You know, if we now have to just hold on to a lead, let's see if we can do that. I'm sure we can. Do, no, don't say that, Tony. Don't say you're sure we can do it because you know what's going to happen. <sighs> Let's just hope. Let's just hope, right? It's all we can do is just sit and think that maybe the players are going to just do a job, right? You've given them some instructions. You've told them they've done a good job. Let's hope that bit of praise carries through. Nice ball. It's cut out, unfortunately. Out they come now. Helsingborg's trying to spring a bit of a counter-attack on us. Uh, what? What? I mean, pick that out. But he's just struck that from, what, 35 yards? 30 yards? No one's ever near him. All right, so we don't even bother with marking. Like, So when we don't mark in the box when crosses come in, that's an issue. But now we also give guys who clearly have never scored from 35 yards before, we give them... Loads of time in the pitch and go, all right, just you have, a, you have a little crack there, mate. You see what you can do from 35 yards. And it turns out that we've passed the ball straight to Paul Scholes or, or Perlow or something. Oh, God. Like, I'm starting to think that it's me. I start to think that the guys don't like me. Um, That could be it. Well, we've managed to not get a penalty there because we stay on our feet. That's good. 
Svensson's put the ball into the side net in. Just, ah, oh. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong, that is a cracking goal. An absolutely amazing goal. Like, if we'd have scored it, that would have been brilliant. Or if we were, like, 4-0 up at the time, that would have been brilliant. But not when it's now gone to one all and we're clearly strung good ball in. Go on! Oh. Saved. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. 20 more minutes left. Please, like, don't allow us to... Oh. Like, I don't think I'm... I don't think my men, my mental health or my physical health or my heart rate or anything can live up to this already. Like, I, I, would, like, I said on the podcast that I was looking forward to it, right? I said I'd fallen in love with the team already. The idea, the ethos, everything behind the club. And now... This is like properly stressing me out because, well, obviously I physically can't do anything to alter the game and, and can't change the game at all. But I'm almost like, like I, I can just see it. It's like a slow moving car crash. I can see how it's going to unfold. Like In my head, I've got an idea as to what I want long term. And I think it'll work. But right now... I just feel as though like every episode is going to be, hey guys, we've lost again. Um, anybody know how you form a CV in Swedish uh, as we start looking for some more clubs? Thankfully, of course, we do have Sweden, Denmark and Norway all loaded up on the database. So when we inevitably do get sacked, um, there will be an option to go somewhere else. Um, but I'm, I'm hanging in. I'm going to prove a point. We can do something with Oster Sons. It might we might not win we well we probably won't win the league with Oster Sons, but I am not gonna get sacked by the time episode two of the podcast comes out. That's that that is actually I've just thought that is a distinct possibility, isn't it? Oh dear. I've just that has literally just dawned on me that this is a hundred percent a possibility that before the episode two of the podcast comes out, when we do the how's your save game going, I may be talking about the fact that I am not Oster Sons manager anymore. And that's quite depressing. That is quite embarrassing. Oh, God, he's done him. Oh, oh. Like, last ditch, last ditch defending there, just throwing bodies at the ball. Finally, a bit of, a bit of, uh, oh, right, oh, yes, good. Tackling, sorry about that noise there. I thought he was going to give away a penalty for no reason. Uh, who goes flying in on, on the box at, on the box of that, at that, oh god, I can't even speak. Like, I don't know what these guys are doing to me. I genuinely don't. Are we gonna? No, no, we're not. Of course, we're not. Oh, we got a corner. Ball's come in, headed out. We're gonna turn it back in, throw in, just hold possession. Don't do anything silly. Get another point. All we've got to do, get a point. We've given the ball away. I mean, I'm glad we've got it back, but this is just... This is hard. It's so hard. <laughs> like, I know, I know I should have picked an easier team to start off with, but I like the idea. God, down the wing. Great ball back. <gasps> oh, 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 that was our chance. That was our chance. That was Kadiri. That was the young lad I was telling you about, who's the striker we had on the bench. So, okay, so he's at least given himself a, a, an opportunity to start again. Um, so, right, a draw, that's fine. At least we've had a point um, on YouTube. We've actually managed to not show you two defeats. That's good. Um, brilliant. They're genuinely happy that we've not lost. <laughs> Talk about lowering our expectations. Um, right, so I guess this is where we're at then. So second bottom, uh, video number two, we need to start improving. We need to start moving stuff on. Uh, because as I say, there is now a distinct possibility that we could um, end episode two of the podcast at a different club. Uh, I'm just... <laughs> yeah, it's going quite badly. We, we may actually get sacked. Um, right, 
I need to do a bit of thinking here. Right, we're going to come back. We'll play some more games offline. Um, if you've enjoyed the videos, do hit like. Please subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the podcast. As I say, all the links are below in the descriptions. Um, any comments, any help, any advice you've got, please do leave it below and I will respond to you. Um, do subscribe to the channel. As I say, we'll get these videos up as, as regularly as we can do. And uh, Thank you so much for watching. I am going to go back and try and think of something now because I don't really know what to do next. So I will see you in video number three, which will be in about a week's time. So I'll see you guys later.